Hello. So, so tell us why, in your view, the 25 per cent stake, proposed stake in Virgin from Qatar is good for the airline and more broadly good for the Australian travelling public. Look, we're really excited about today's announcement, Michael. It is a testament to the hard work and passion and commitment of our 8,000 strong team who have worked really hard post-COVID to get our airline back into a position where we're strong, we're profitable and we're delivering the world's you know, most loved or Australia's most loved airline position. And we've attracted the world's best airline to invest in our business. And for us, what does that mean? It means we've got a, an important shareholder who has scale that we don't have, who has expertise that we don't have, that can help us compete better domestically by giving us access to that scale to purchase things more cost effectively and to invest in technologies, invest in sustainable aviation fuel to do things that we otherwise wouldn't be able to afford to do as quickly and give us the ability to compete better domestically as a consequence. So we think this is great news for Australians. It means a very strong competitor domestically that will stand the test of time. It also means we have the ability to put a toe in the water with long haul international flying and add services between Australia and Doha, which opens up 107 new destinations for Australians with one stop over Doha. So that's just a fantastic thing. And it also opens up belly space for the agricultural sector to move goods and and products into the Middle East and Europe. And so we just think it's fantastic for everybody. Over the next five years, the economic impact of this to Australia, we are factoring at $3 billion for the tourism economy alone before you start adding in the benefits to small, medium-sized businesses in the ag sector generally with respect to access to freight. It's been some time since Virgin has flown long-haul flights. So, so how would it work if this deal comes off? I, I read about so-called wet lease arrangements between Virgin and Qatar. Talk us through that. Yes. What that means, basically, is that we can get started in July. The global supply chains in aviation today mean that if we tried to do this ourselves, one, our balance sheet couldn't support it, and the risk we would create for our domestic operation wouldn't be worth considering. And it would take us six years to get access to new aircraft. And so doing this means we can use Qatar's aircraft, their people who are well-trained, and we use our commercial strength in Australia, their commercial strength in selling internationally, and we get the best of breed with respect to starting long haul international again. Gets us back in the game, gives our frequent flyers access to more opportunities to earn points, more opportunities to use their points for, for free trips or lower cost trips, and gives Australians greater access and connectivity to the world. So we're really excited about it. We think it's one of those unique, perfect fit situations which gives us the opportunity to do things we otherwise wouldn't have the ability to do. Okay, and what does this mean for the proposed uh, floating of Virgin that's taken off the market some years ago? Uh, will this potentially fast track this if the deal gets approved? If this deal gets approved, it means we've got a 25% strategic cornerstone investor who will be around for the long term. And then that gives us the anchor with which to begin to think about opening up the, um, the opportunity for public investment and an IPO. We would hopefully see lots of Australian institutions and retail investors um, joining Qatar as, as shareholders in Virgin Australia. That's a matter for our shareholders over time. But this is the first step in bringing Virgin Australia back to you know, an opportunity for Australians to invest in and be part of our story. Virgin CEO, I really appreciate you taking time to talk to us about this big breaking news this morning. Thank you.